A government employee in Camden is found dead. And this evening, prosecutors say they know who kidnapped and killed him, then left him in an abandoned garage. Now the question is why? Why would someone want him dead? This brutal kidnapping and killing is haunting the victim's family, including his grandfather, who is Camden City Council President. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands joins us now live with more details on this grisly crime. Shante. Yeah, Alex and Yuki, we just got a hold of the court documents in it. The probable cause. What it revealed is that detectives use surveillance video to track down the kidnapper and the victim. And we also learned that the victim's hands were tied, the feet were tied, and a plastic bag was over his head. I got hate, which I shouldn't have in me right now. I'm, I'm mad, you know. I'm upset. I've been crying and crying and crying. Relatives embrace near the spot where the body of 20-year-old Curtis Jenkins III, grandson of Camden City Council President Curtis Jenkins Sr., was found after he was kidnapped and killed. He was found last night inside an abandoned garage on the 1100 block of Liberty Street in the Fairview section of the city. He's a real caring kid, man. Caring, loving, always happy. Never bothered nobody. Never, ever. Everybody loved my son. Jenkins was an employee at the Camden County Clerk's Office. His dad says Jenkins was working on his side job Sunday night delivering barbecue food on the 2700 block of Congress Road in the city of Camden when he was kidnapped. Jenkins says he received a call from the alleged kidnappers who sent him a photo of his son tied up and demanded a ransom. Yeah, it was a setup. I saw a setup. Somebody gave him a false address. The Camden County Prosecutor's Office says Jenkins died from asphyxia or suffocation. The chief of detectives remained tight-lipped about the motive. There, there was a motive. We can't get into that right now. Camden County Police explained what led to the arrest of 32-year-old Brandon Beverly. On July 1st, on an unrelated warrant in Woodbury, the suspect was taken into custody by the United States Marshal Service. And the charges for that suspect, Brandon Beverly, has been upgraded from kidnapping to first-degree murder. He's in jail right now. He's due back in court for his detention hearing on Friday. The prosecutor's office also says that they're not releasing yet if more people will be arrested. Reporting live in Camden, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you.